In this video, we're going to be discussing another special test that's used to rule up nonspecific hip pathologies, and that is the FADIR test. FADIR is an acronym for flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. And so you can imagine that this test will involve moving the test hip into a combination of these three movements. So to perform this test, the patient's going to be positioned in supine, as you see right here. Also note that the PT is going to be standing on the side that they're testing. So in this case, I'll be testing the patient's left hip. The PT is going to passively move the patient's hip into a combination of flexion, adduction, and internal rotation, thus the name of the test. And make sure that you're moving as close to end range for each of those movements per patient tolerance and monitor for symptom provocation. So I'm going to grasp the leg, bend the knee up. There's my flexion of the hip. Here is a deduction and internal rotation. A positive test involves familiar pain reproduction in the hip that often occurs in a C sign pattern. And like the hip scour test, a positive fadier test rules up nonspecific hip pathologies, meaning that it doesn't point to one condition specifically. If you want to narrow this down to one specific condition, then you need to make sure you're conducting a thorough subjective examination and objective examination, and also rely on other special tests. Some conditions that are associated with a positive fadier test would be femoral acetabular impingement syndrome, or FAI. This is the most common one that people associate with a positive fadier test. But also you might have anterior labral tears and tendonitis of the iliopsoas muscles. Now just to review the fadier test, you're going to take the test side hip, move it into full flexion, then move it into full adduction and full internal rotation and monitor for symptom provocation. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.